um, on hor hormone therapy. Um, why recently and what is it like? Um, yeah, okay. So why recently? I kind of have always been baby crazy my whole entire life. And it takes a long time to schedule appointments uh, to save what is necessary, <laughs> to save what is necessary uh, to have kids. So that appointment took a really long time to schedule uh, because for whatever reason, like the facility that does the cryopreservation was like super, super booked. So it, it just took like a ridiculously long time um, to get that. And what is it like? Um, like, honestly, I like, I don't know, like, honestly, like, um, I'm kind of in like the early stages of it, you know, and I'm really, really excited about it. I'm really, really excited about it. But there's just obviously just different, like, changes happening in my body uh, that normally people experience as teenagers when they get excuses for being cringe because they're teenagers. Um, <laughs> um, you know, it's, I mean, you literally have to go through a whole second puberty um, but like so far, I'm really excited. Like, I think I've already seen like an improvement in my skin. Um, like, uh, like my brain has been a little bit all over the place, but that's just because like, you know, once again, very early on in this, um, the biggest, so the biggest thing really is just like my skin being a little bit different, like, uh, my sense of temperature changing a little bit, but that's pretty normal. Um, and like just so you're, you're just normal kind of like side effects, I guess. Um, food tastes better though. Food tastes so much better. It's wild, right? Um, like, because like estrogen quite literally does change your sense of smell and taste. Um, and, uh, believe it or not, women actually have like more sensitive senses of smell. And I've taste. been saying that for years mm. and no one believes me. <laughs> it's I'm true. very it's sensitive. True. There's a, yeah. There's a lot of research into it. Um, so, so yeah, so like my appetite is better. Um, you know, I'm definitely a lot more, more hungry than I had been before. Um, but that's not consistent for everybody. It kind of varies a little bit. Um, uh, but yeah, like food, food tastes better. So let me get, you know, I guess you're, you're colder now than you used to be when you said temperature. <laughs> Um, I just kind of get like, I mean, just randomly, just like all of a sudden being like, wow, I'm like a million degrees right now. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> um, but I've always been kind of like a lizard person. Um, I keep my apartment. Okay. I keep my apartment in like 80 degrees year round. Um, wow. Wow. I know a lot of people like it a lot colder than that. Um, I'm very lucky that my fiance also likes the apartment to be 80 <laughs> degrees year round. That's, that's the key um, to a successful relationship, liking the yeah. same temperature. <laughs> I that's mean, honestly, so interesting. though, like oh, wow. literally, I would lose my mind if it, if it drops below 75 degrees, like my bones hurt. I can't deal with it. Like it's, it's like physically painful to be in the cold and it's just so debilitating. I need it to be super warm. Um, but like, you know, with like the estrogen, like changing things up a little bit, like there's just random moments where I'm like, oh my God, I'm a million degrees right now. Um, but like, once again, I think that's just kind of like, I think that's probably a transitory thing because I am pretty early on in it.